What I wanted to do was create a video for a buddy of mine who's uh, recently got an FDM printer and he's trying uh, to level his bed. Uh, this video uses an Ender 2. Um, some users may notice that I have a, a build tack type surface on there and I'll go over that caveat uh, at the end of the video. Um, but it's important to note that first and foremost that whenever you're leveling a bed you should have a, a nozzle and a bed up to temperature and if, if you're printing PLA you don't actually have to achieve print temperature with your hot end uh, say if you're printing PLA normally around 200 degrees uh, Celsius you can get away with like 150 170 degrees Celsius so you don't have so much oozing um, with the ender in particular this is a, a G code script that can be found on Thingiverse that I'll link in the description below um, and it brings the hot end up to temperature. So you're going to see some oozing onto the paper. Um, this is standard copy paper, nothing fancy, just something I run out of my laser printer. I rip a sheet in half and uh, I do that so that I can get a little bit of distance between my hand and the nozzle um, when I'm holding the paper because I want to see if the paper actually buckles. Not so much, obviously, when I pull away from the nozzle you'll hear a lot of people talk about the drag that you feel on the nozzle but as a, as a newcomer to 3d printing you're not really sure what that sense of drag is it kind of reminds me of how much tension should really be on the belts um, so what I focus on is when I push the paper back into the nozzle if I get that buckle like you just saw then I'm real happy with that and, and I'm pretty darn close to uh, final print uh, spacing. You'll see here when I push the paper back in, it doesn't buckle into the nozzle, but now it does. So I'm going to back off just a tiny hair. It's still buckling, but it's also sliding maybe a little too much, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit to make it buckle a little bit more. And just try to get to that fine point where it just starts to buckle back into the nozzle. Once it does that, then you're fine to move on to the next point. And uh, it, obviously important to note when you're when you're leveling a system, now granted this is a three point leveling system versus your conventional four point leveling system, um, which in some respects makes it even harder for, for some individuals to wrap their head around. However, whenever you adjust one corner or one point of your bed level, it's going to affect all the other points. So this particular G code runs around twice uh, make sure that you have it uh, in tune because you can adjust your three points and then you come back to your first point and realize, oh, it's too tight or it's too loose. So uh, that's what we're doing now is we're actually coming back to the second uh, round on the first point of bed level. And because of the uh, filament that's building up on that paper, I'm trying to kind of move the paper around so that I don't, I'm not going over an existing spot that has some filament build up. Um, you'll note that on the enders, if, if you own an ender and you're following along here, how difficult it is to get to that leveling knob on the left-hand side. Uh, the other two on the right hands of the rear and the front are, are much easier to get to. And in this instance, you'll, you'll note that I just got it to where it pushed into the paper and buckled a little bit, so I was happy with that. Here it's buckling, it seems pretty good. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up on that. And now I'm gonna pull the paper away in because this script will now print a very large skirt all around the perimeter of the bed. Um, this is built into the G-code, but you don't, obviously with any printer, you don't have to have that. You can just print a very large rectangle, throw a skirt on it, or just, uh, you know, like do it in base mode or something like that. And it also helps, I'm not doing it here, but it also helps if you throw your feed rate way down to like 25%, so it's traveling really slow. Uh, Neary's uh, can be found on YouTube. Uh, Chris, he has an excellent uh, video describing that process and, and how to get your bed level just right and, and adjusting it on the fly. Because you can use a little bit of fine tuning as you'll see it print the skirt around the perimeter of your bed. Um, you can also run into issues with your with your bed being bowed or concave in the center. It may be great on the four corners, but uh, in the center it, it may be bowed or, or concave. 
and that's something you're going to have to look in you, you know facebook groups or what have you um, to find a solution to that particular problem sometimes you can build up the the print surface uh, underneath the bed you know underneath the glass or underneath the the bed itself um, but here we're uh, the initial part in the script does a wipe which is a big fat bead that you saw initially and now we print a perimeter which is a skirt um, important to note is the corner if you see a nice sharp corner because we're printing a box then that means that it has pretty good adhesion if it's a rounded corner it's not sticking very well um, and so we'll follow along the perimeter to this back corner and you'll see that that is a very sharp corner and unfortunately when we get back to the uh, far left corner back here I can't get the camera in close enough so you're just gonna kind of have to take my word for it the entire time I watched the perimeter to make sure that it doesn't change from when it started to when it ends that it's the same thickness it's the same transparency that it all that is the same and uh, once you get that nailed down you're close to getting your bed level sorted out